This is our how-to video for the incline bench press. Specifically, we're talking about the incline two, so it's our second incline up, roughly about 45 degrees here. If you're in the gym with us, the way we like to set this up is we'll put this bench into the second set of notches on the squat rack uh, versus the first set that we usually do for the uh, regular bench press. Also, if you're doing it in our gym, guys will probably be set up on an eight for a rack height and women are most likely gonna be set up on a seven. As you set up, you'll make sure that bar is directly over your eyes before unracking it. Pull the weight out, line it up directly over your shoulders. And we're gonna make sure that these hands are in a very similar position to the bench press. We'll make sure that those wrists are straight and the wrists line up directly over the elbows. Envision the bar attached to the ceiling and you have to pull that weight down to your chest. Give it a pause for a second, drive your back into the bench, and then press the bar away from your body. So I like to think about pressing my body into the bench as the bar, as we're pressing the bar up toward the ceiling. Again, pull that weight down, pause, and we're gonna make sure that those wrists line up directly over the elbows when you're doing this. So your elbows might be a little bit slightly away from the body um, versus your regular bench press. You're also going to aim to touch a little bit higher on the chest where normally our bench press will be coming down closer to the nipple line. Uh, this is going to be coming up kind of midway between the collarbone and the nipple line so a little bit higher up on that chest. Here's another angle again when we're setting up make sure those eyes are directly over the bar or under the bar rather. Pull the weight out we're gonna make sure that those wrists are straight. You're squeezing the bar nice and tight, trying to break that bar in half, almost like try to bend it. Uh, pull the weight down toward the top of your chest. Give it a pause at the bottom before pressing your body into the bench and pressing the bar away from your body. So again, envision yourself pushing yourself into the bench as hard as you can. Pull the weight down pause before pressing your body into the bench and, and get the bar away from your body. Now, I'd like your head, upper back, butt, and feet to all be in contact with the bench all at the same time. You're trying to drive those feet into the ground, squeeze your butt nice and tight, and create as much tension throughout your entire body as possible. Again, the adage is we can't fire a cannon out of a canoe, so we want to make sure that everything is nice and stable. If you have any other questions or are interested in our customized online program design and coaching, check us out at GameTimeStrength.com.